Hello class, welcome to the Minute Math YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button below and share our videos. You can also find great math content and links to all of our videos at www.minutemathtutor.com. All right now, enjoy the lesson. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're learning about similar figure word problems. Answer each question and round your answer to the nearest tenth. If I was given this word problem, Georgetown and Franklin are 9.7 inches apart on a map that has a scale of 1.1 inches to 15 miles. How far apart are the real cities? So we're given a scale. Let's start with that. 1.1 inches is equal to 15 miles. So it's 1.1 inches on our map. In real life, we got 15 point, so just 15 miles, excuse me. Georgetown and Franklin, they said on the map, are 9. 0.7 inches and in real life we want to find out how far apart they are. With this information we can create a proportion. 1.1 inch to 15 miles should equal our 9.7 inches to our x miles, the distance that we want to find. To solve this we have to cross multiply. 1.1 times x is equal to 15 times 9.7. Divide both sides by 1.1. We got x by itself and 15 times 9.7 divided by 1.1 is 132.3 miles. And so that's the distance, our final answer, between Georgetown and Franklin. Quick recap. Georgetown and Franklin are 9.7 inches apart on a map that has a scale of 1.1 inches to 15 miles. How far apart are the real cities? So we took that information to create this, the scale as well as relationship between the map and our real cities being that variable. From there we created a proportion. Then we solved for our variable x and got a final answer of the distance between Georgetown and Franklin to be 132.3 miles. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit the like button that's right there. If you have a mathematical question, just add it to the comment section below. And lastly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit subscribe. It's right there. But as always, thanks for watching.